Our next inductee is Senator Darren Hinch. <laughs> Darren Hinch, shame, shame, shame. Making up a story, I cannot believe that. Let me tell you, I did not ever, the first time I ever said shame, shame, shame was in the Wog Boy movie 25 years after I've been accused of it, all right? It was uh, Visard, as you saw. Visard did shame, shame, shame. Where it came from was in 1983, I think, during the election with Hawke and, uh, and, and the Prime Minister Fraser. Fraser had banned me. He wouldn't come on my program. So I banned him uh, for a couple of years and he, because he, he went on every program on 3AW, including the fishing program. So I, I then took his answers from the fishing program and put them to air on the Hinch program and he'd say, say things about the trout, like they jump, they jump till they're exhausted. And I, my question was, is it true your cabinet jumps when you tell them to? Uh, what are you going to do for pensions? Nothing, you know. Uh, so he banned me. But in the end, um, okay, well, anyway, it came down the end that uh, uh, we, we did have a, a peace moment. He, he walked all over me. He, I interviewed him finally on air. Uh, I went to bed early, didn't have a drink, was, and he walked all over me. He filibustered me to death, and I got, got, got screwed. Let me tell you one thing. He did walk out, Ray. That's true. He did walk out. <laughs> Number two, I'm so honoured to be here. Uh, this is a magic moment. Um, I'm honoured to be a senator in, in, in the Australian Parliament. At my age, to jump the shark was amazing. I've learned since I've got there. Uh, I can be the only person in this room, and there's a few ones, not many older than me, but I'm the only one who can say I've interviewed every Prime Minister in this country since Robert Menzies. Now, my dinner partner, Laurie Oakes, I tested him on it the other day, and he interviewed Bob Menzies too, but in 1967, after Menzies had retired. I interviewed Bob Menzies in 1964, so I can claim that title and will for all time. I am the oldest uh, ed um, senator ever elected. Uh, I'm honoured by it. Um, I'm just waiting now to prove you can jump the shark. So I'm waiting now for Senator Ray Martin to turn up <laughs> next, out of New South Wales. The Justice Party is there, Ray, if you want it, it's, you can do it. Um, He's shaking his head. Is he? Uh, anyway, it's, it's, it's an amazing moment and you, you can achieve stuff. I mean, getting that ban on very serious moment, I'll shut up yep. then. Um, to, in seven months in Canberra, but people say, oh, you only have one man ban. Okay. In seven months in Canberra, I got a, a ban on convicted sex offenders going overseas on child rape holidays. Now, you were involved in that. You, yes. you, you were that very day. Thank you. Uh, and, and I found out that since that came in in December, I, mean, I was at my house in December, December 2 last year, I got a phone call saying, Darren, it's Malcolm. Just when you were the first to know, we turned the first one back at Sydney Airport today. I stood in my lounge room and I cried. Since then, 857 sex offenders have, been ba have their passports cancelled. And if that's all I achieve, I've done something. Thanks, Darren, Darren, congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. This, this, excuse me, this, this, this man was the MC on my first ever appearance as a senator at the Melbourne Press Club. And like all he, my other friends, they gagged on calling me Senator Hinch. And even in the, in the, in the um, courtyard at the Senate a few months ago, yep. he was interviewing me and he said, I, I, I said, you, you still can't say it, right? He can now. But anyway, he was there and he was involved in, in a, a thing with Rachel Griffiths to give me a letter in which sparked me to say, let's chase the sex offenders, and it was your involvement, and I thank no, you for that's it. Your, your Thanks, record. everybody. Thank you. Appreciate Darren. it. Cheers. Had all these questions, but uh, once a radio broadcaster, always a radio broadcaster. <laughs> and I look forward to uh, Senator Ray Martin some stage in the future, so I'd vote for you. <laughs>